Technically, the thing that killed me never really happened. Some umpire called it a do-over. The scene is Tucson Electric Park. Randy Johnson's on the mound, Calvin Murray's the hitter, and that's me, just a regular old dove from the neighborhood. Actually, oh, here's a close-up of me with Jeff Kent. Yeah, I know, it's not my best sight. But back to the tape. By now, you know what happened next. Happening in, in a fraction of a second. An explosion of feathers. Everybody just kind of caught their breath for a moment and said, what in God's name just happened? Don't be sad for me. I died. And guess what? Every bird dies. But not every bird goes out in a blaze of glory. My final flight was caught on just one camera, and that tape has sat on Jimmy Corrigan's shelf ever since the day it happened. I guess sort of like a trophy, although that's a little sick if you ask me. In order to do video back then at Tucson Electric Park, I had to just bring a camera out to the center field camera well and then sit out there and record the game. Brandy Johnson's on the mound, I just sit there and record each pitch. Out of my left periphery, I actually saw this bird coming from basically where the Diamondbacks dugout was. A blur going across home plate, the ball simultaneously hitting that blur. It literally just turned into a cloud of feathers, and I saw the deceased roll into the on-deck circle, but I wasn't sure if it was the baseball or the bird. Just hard to uh, really put that in perspective. It happened so quick. When I get back to my office, I've got all these people saying, please tell me you got that, please tell me you got that. And Mike Swanson, who was our media relations director at the time, is telling me, he's like, if you've got that, I need dubs immediately. And he's like, for what? And I said, well, believe it or not, this can be pretty big national news when it's all said and done. He goes, national news? Yeah, it's Randy Johnson. And I pop it in and I you know, rewind it to that. And I'm like, oh, wow. That is unbelievable video. Before you know it, I was everywhere. Now this was four years before YouTube. This is our favorite game that we call it. Oh. Hit the bird, people! Yeah. 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 Basically, when they came in, somebody you know tried to bring it with humor, and as odd as this may sound, there was a life lost in this. And, and Randy is a conservationist, and Randy said, "I, I don't find this very funny." Andy wasn't the only one who didn't find it funny. When PETA called me, I was considered a bird killer, and they were actually considering filing charges on the bird's behalf. I had to hire a lawyer. It was one of those things. What became kind of funny actually became a very serious moment. You gotta put yourself in his position. He's out on the mound, throws a pitch, kills a bird, and he's the center of another controversy which he really didn't ask to be a part of, and he didn't know, quite know how to handle it. Now me and Randy, we're synonymous. Go ahead, Google it. Who comes up? Eat your heart out, John Crook. It's me and the big unit, together forever. Heck, I'm even his photography logo. A lot of people didn't know what that stood for. Those are the people that I'd probably want to talk to about my baseball because they have no idea what the bird stood for. But everybody that wants to talk about baseball first talks about the bird. It's crazy. If I could go back in time, I would, I would have never thrown that pitch. I don't want to talk about that, the bird. All right, go ahead, ask the questions, I'm retired now. now. these days, Randy doesn't really Randy, like being asked ahead. about me. What do you want? And I get it, I get it. We're talking about one non-pitch in a Hall of Fame career. But I guess, if I'm being totally honest, it sort of hurts, big unit, but not as much as that fastball. It's weird, as many years as it passed since 2001, it's one of those things that still stands out in my mind, maybe more than anything I've seen in baseball. It seems appropriate that it was Randy. You know, he, he is kind of a monster on the mound, and this is almost a monstrous event. Randy took his craft very seriously, and that bird interrupted his craft and paid the price dearly. 